Martin and Cindy are looking through old family pictures. Trouble is, they don't know whose family it is. You got weddings, you have vacations, you have holidays, you have birthdays. Baptisms. Baptisms. It's all in these two books. Those two photo albums and a family Bible were both found behind Annie's Kitchen, a North Haven restaurant Cindy owns where Martin cooks. We had had a flood in the restaurant and we were emptying stuff into the dumpster and they were there in a box. Some of the photos look like they date back to the 50s or 60s. Most seem to be from the 80s and 90s. The photo albums show us plenty of faces, but the pictures aren't labeled. The family Bible, however, does have some names, and it seems to be dedicated to Joey and Jason. The handwriting's not great. Gargiulo, Gorgioli. The latest entry in this family Bible, though, dates back to 1980, the death of a great-grandmother. The photos just show regular family events, nothing historic, but the thinking is someone would like these back. We don't know how it ended up at the dumpster, yeah. but it did. Yeah. So basically that's why we contacted you guys to see if you can help us find the family. Just like News 8 did when a woman found a locket at a Waterford beach. That locket was reunited with its owner a few weeks later thanks to the photos inside. The one photo that stands out in the albums at Annie's Kitchen is this one of a handsome young man perhaps during the Vietnam War era. And we'd love to find out who the soldier is and what war he fought in and return this stuff to his family. If you think you know the Gargiulo family, let us know at news8 at WTNH.com. In North Haven, I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.